Hello, my name is Craig and welcome to the uh, couple of people who still watch my videos. Um, this is a uh, rather momentous occasion for guitar builders when you close the box. It's somewhat satisfying to actually see the shape of the guitar taking form. Just checking that the the top was uh, is still okay as far as fit goes. I put a little bit of blue tape there at about the edge of where the top goes and where the base goes, just so that it's easier to align it from my point of view when I'm putting the top back on and glue on the glued frame I use this little mirror uh, it just helps me to make sure that the, the top is sitting nice and flush against the rim before I put the glue on And everything's going quite well. Sometimes I tend to use a little bit too much glue. Uh, but you can always clean it up. It's better than using not enough. Now the top should almost slot into place and you can sometimes hear a little click as it fits in the place. Okay, there is a bit of squeeze out there, but we can uh, clean that up. There'll be a little bit more when I apply all the clamps. I come in now and just clean the rest of it up. Use a little bit of a stick as well to get into the little kerfing areas where there's a little bit too much glue. after it's dried for about two hours it's time to do the back and this is the first guitar of 2024 so I have to change the date on it Okay, signature. I probably should have put all Australian Blackwood, this guitar. 2024. You can probably hear this one click. It's in place. As I said, I've got that blue piece of tape there to give me an indication of how far down it's going to be.
and when the glue has pretty well got it right there time to put the back on now you won't hear the click so much now because it has all the insulation of the glue but I can feel it Now we just check the uh, the fit again, make sure it's flush against the sides. This is the last chance to make any changes. I guess you could take the back off when it's dry, but it's a, it takes a bit of time. Everything's good, ready to go. Now to apply the clamps. Now I was once a science teacher and the kids for some reason rather thought I was a bit of a fashion icon and when I'd wear particular outfits to work quite often the kids would imitate uh, what I was wearing, which was kind of embarrassing, but uh, also funny. But uh, these days, what does a guitar maker wear? I still like to set the fashion, so um, this is what I wear these days, if you want to be a, a guitar maker. What a shirt. Okay, here is uh, Betty Blackwood after I've removed her from the mould and I've trimmed some of the excess around the, the top and the back. Remove that. Uh, let's have a little bit of a listen to it. If you can hear that, but uh, it's quite drum like. And I was just uh, looking at the sides and the back, and they have a little bit more flame on them than I originally uh, remembered. Now that I've uh, cleaned them up a little bit, if we just have a look at this part here, I was just looking at. Hopefully the camera can capture a little bit of this. That flame will come out better when I sand the size down more smoothly. And when we add a little bit of gloss finish. Originally I wasn't going to uh, finish this in gloss, I was just going to do it in oil. But it's looking better than what I thought it was, so I think it's worthwhile uh, giving it a, a gloss finish. I don't know if you can see the flame in that. As I said, it'll come up better when we've finished it. Just here the back. Okay. So there's Betty Blackwood. Next step is to do the binding and the end piece, which I'll have to work out. I'll have to think about what I want to do for that. Anyway, see you next time. Thanks for watching.